To introduce uh, the next section, I'd like to invite up the product lead for a new initiative, uh, Rishi Chandra. Rishi, come on up on stage. All right. All right. Thank you, Vic. And thank you for all being here. We're going to have some fun today. I'm going to introduce you to Google TV, a new platform. <laughs> Thank you. A new platform that we believe will change the future of television. But before we start talking about the future, let's talk a little bit about the present. I try to pull together a few interesting facts to just help convey how important TV is to the world today. So let's just go through those facts really quickly. First interesting fact, five hours per day. That's the average amount of time an American spends in front of the television. And in fact, people are watching more TV now than they ever were in the past. It's pretty amazing. Second interesting fact, $70 billion. That's the annual advertising spend in the US alone on TV. There's still no better medium to reach a wider and broader audience than the television. And then third interesting fact, four billion TV users worldwide. Four billion, that's just staggering. Even if you compare to very large markets, like the mobile market, which has a couple billion, or the PC market, which has a billion. For a developer, there is no bigger market than the TV market. And the reality is, people just love television. Right? I love TV, and I'm not embarrassed to say I watch a lot of television. So why is that? Well, it turns out that TV just works. Right? It's easy, it's reliable, and it gets you access to really cool stuff. Favorite sports, my favorite movies, my favorite shows. In fact, it's become such a natural and predictable part of our lives that you don't even have to think about it anymore. Right? There aren't many technologies that can say that. And as other technologies evolved and changed, TVs basically stayed the same. And actually, to many people, that's actually pretty comforting. But increasingly, more and more of my entertainment experiences in the living room are actually not happening on the TV. Right? They're happening on my mobile phone or my PC. And that's really being driven by the web. Right? The web has completely transformed the PC space, and much more recently, transformed the mobile space with the introduction of the smartphone. But even today, the web has had very limited adoption in the premier entertainment device in your living room, the TV. And so you're kind of stuck now, right? There's two completely separate worlds for most users. One world where I have all this great, compelling content on my television, my favorite sports, my favorite shows, my favorite movies. And then this other world where I have all my great vi web videos and my favorite websites. So what's a, what ends up happening? Well, naturally, users adjust. But they adjust by doing unnatural things to make it all work. Let me give you an example. This happens at my house all the time. <laughs> and might resonate with many of you there as well. Family and friends huddle around this you know, little small PC to watch some really cool web content. This just doesn't make sense. Video should be consumed on the biggest, best, and brightest screen in the house. And that's your TV. It's not a PC, it's not a phone, or anything in between. So how do we actually start bringing these two worlds together? Well, I'll be the first to admit that we're not the first one to make the attempt on this. Right? Many people have tried. And today, many devices now in the living room will actually be connected to the web. But if you look at the data today, it's still pretty limited adoption. Now, I'm going to argue that there's three reasons why many of the solutions today just haven't made much traction. They have three major limitations. First limitation, they all try to dumb down the web for TV. Here's the problem when you try to dumb down the web. Then you're effectively recreating the web. Does that sound familiar to people in this, in this room? It's WAP all over again, right? And what we learned in the mobile space is that it just doesn't scale. Yeah, you, maybe you'll get 20 apps, 50 apps, maybe 100. We need to find a way to bring the entire web to the television. 
Second limitation, they're all closed. Closed does not work anymore. Once a user experiences the freedom to go anywhere they want to go on the web, they're not going back. And third, many of these solutions today make you choose between TV or web. The minute that user has to hit that dreaded input selector button to go from TV to web, you've lost 90% of them because they don't know how to get back. <laughs> and the reality is the choice, if you give a user a choice between TV or web, they're going to choose TV. That's the experience they know. So what's the answer here? Well, we have our, our opinion, obviously. We believe it, takes, it requires taking the best of what TV has to offer today and the best of what the web has to offer today and bringing them into a single seamless experience. It really is about how do we make TV and web better. So with that, I'm very happy to introduce Google TV. <laughs> where TV meets web and web meets TV. Now, before we dive into the demo, which I know you guys are all anxious for, I want you to remember four ways that we believe we are going to redefine the television experience. First, we're going to show you how you can spend less time finding and more time watching your favorite content. Second, we're going to also show you how you can control and personalize what you watch and when you watch it. Third. We're going to make your existing TV content much more interesting. And I'll show you how. And finally, we're going to make your TV much more than a TV. 